Ion is a transition element. State two physical properties of ion that are typical of a transition element. All right, so it's very easy equation. Number one, they have high boiling points. They have high melting points, high densities. They are good electric conductors. They are also good thermal conductors. They are lustrous. They are sonorous. Can you feel to mention just two from there? All right, I've, I've given you a lot. They, all right, they are sonorous. Meaning they produce a very pleasant sound when you stroke like when you strike them. Or okay, they have a high melting melting points. Also have got high boiling points. Okay. Uh what else? Uh they are good conductors of electricity. Good conductors of electricity and heat also good conductors okay of heat so you can see cell ion two oxides thermally decomposes to form ion three oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide you can see the equation Explain how the equation shows that this reaction involves oxidation. Number one, it is the you know, oxygen is being gained. The other one is that, remember that oxidation also deals with the loss of electrons. You can see that this is ion 2, meaning this is ion 2. This is ion 3, this is ion 3. You can see that this one has got a smaller charge than that one, meaning electrons are being lost. All right, so we can say the loss of electrons uh, by ion 2 a sample this is a sample of ion 2 it has got this mass is heated until all the sample has thermally decomposed calculate the volume of sulfur dioxide formed in cubic decimeters at room temperature and pressure now there's a reason why they have given us room temperature and pressure why because volume here at room temperature and pressure standard volume is actually 24 cubic decimeters it's what we call the molar volume this is our molar volume. So, how do you find the volume? Number one is I need to find the number of moles of ion to sulfate. To give us number of uh, mass given over molar mass. So, the mass is 6.08 grams. How do we find the molar mass? Well, they have given, they have given us ion sulfate, right? Uh, by now, we should know how to find the relative molecular mass. This is 56. This is 32. This is 16 times 4. 52 plus 32. Sorry, 56 plus 32. Oxygen is 16 on the periodic table. And there are four of them. So, total, we're having 152. Grams per mole. So, that's such that gram and gram cancel. Let's divide I'm getting 0 0.04 moles. These are the moles of self, um, what? Iron sulfate. But we are interested in this guy here, sulfur dioxide. So we go back to more ratio. You can see that sulfur dioxide and iron sulfate, they are in the ratio of 2 to 1. This is 1 there. So now let's come to more ratio. I'll write it here. More ratio. More ratio of who and who? Of iron to sulfate and sulfur dioxide. It is a 2 to 1, but the number of moles that we just found here for ion to sulfate is 0 0.04. Here we don't know. So crossing multiply me gives us 2x is equal to 0 0.04. You divide by 2 there. So x, which is just the number of moles for sulfur dioxide, will be 0 0.02 moles. Now that you know the number of moles of the compound you are looking for, let's go. Number of moles, let's go. Volume is equal to number of moles multiplied by molar volume. Molar volume. So the, vol the moles is 0 0.02. Molar volume is here. I wrote it 24 cubic. I'm getting 0 
0.48 cubic decimeters. That's like that. Now, welcome.